Kicking things off at number 10, Nicolas Cage. Nick Cage is a pretty big Hollywood actor, so it's surprising to see that he kind of hit rock bottom at one point. Between the years of 1996 and 2011, he was worth over $130 million. What happened then, you ask? Well, as he began to make more money, he spent more money buying pretty pricey and lavish things. Among the things that he spent his hard earned cash on included things like luxury cars, two islands, a yacht, a jet, several properties around the world, a dinosaur skull, and my personal favorite, a $150,000 pet octopus. Now unfortunately for Nick, his expenses got the best of him and he filed for bankruptcy. He was forced to sell most of his belongings to cover his debt and was even sued by his money manager. Nick has spent the last few years basically living paycheck to paycheck trying to pay off his remaining debts. In at number 9, Tony Braxton. Much like Nicolas Cage, singer Tony Braxton also lost her fortune. In 1998, Tony filed for bankruptcy, landing her in a pretty depressive episode. Tony blamed her misfortunes on bad business deals, tour expenses, and as well as her personal spending habits as she was known to purchase designer clothing and accessories. Tony shared her feelings about her bankruptcy publicly and seemed to have bounced back after a few years. But that money didn't last very long because she filed for bankruptcy a second time in 2010 because she was over $15 million in debt. How does someone spend so much money? $15 million is a lot. This time she blamed her debts on the fact that she owed money to her record label, the IRS, and the state of Georgia for taxes. Since then, she's been left with very little money to her name. I sincerely hope that if she regains her fortune, that she doesn't blow it all for a third time. At number 8, Wesley Snipes. Another celebrity who lost it all is none other than comedian Wesley Snipes. Wesley was arrested and sentenced to three years in prison for tax evasion. Now this is one of the things I'm most afraid of happening to me. I'm so scared that I'll accidentally forget to pay my taxes and end up in jail. Like it is so easy to just not pay your taxes one year because you missed the deadline. It's so scary. Anyway, Wesley was found guilty for failing to pay upwards of 15 million dollars in taxes between 1999 and 2001. He tried to appeal his case a few times since his lawyers claimed that Wesley's tax advisors misled him, but he was forced to serve the full three year sentence. He went from being at the top to behind bars. In at 7, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan was once one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, but she began her slow decline leading her to hit rock bottom. At the beginning of her career, she was booking movie after movie, and she made quite a name for herself. But slowly over time, she got booked less and less because she held a reputation for poor behavior on set, as well as constantly being late for her shoots. Since she wasn't receiving the same amount of work that she used to, her income started to take a hit, and that combined with her large list of expenses from personal items to bills and legal fees, she racked up a lot of debt that she just couldn't pay off. At the same time, her public image was taking a hit as well. She was in and out of rehab and was facing harsh criticism from the public, so not only was she broke, she was also unable to get a job because of her image. Right now she's doing kind of okay, but her career and financial situation will never be the same again. Coming in at number 6, Johnny Depp. Actor Johnny Depp is another celebrity who's lost it all. Johnny and his misfortunes have been in the media a lot lately. As his divorce with Amber Heard continues to be broadcast around the world, we're finding out more and more about how Johnny lost everything he's built for himself. At the height of his career, he had his fortunes, but they soon began to dwindle as life began to get the best of him. Between lawsuits, fraud charges, taxes, and divorce settlements, Johnny lost millions. Normally for a celebrity as big as he was, it wouldn't have taken him much to regain the funds that he had lost, but his divorce with Amber Heard is what seemed to have been the nail in his coffin. Amber alleged that Johnny was abusive towards her and this ruined his reputation in the film industry. No one wanted to be seen supporting an alleged abuser and his career suffered greatly. He stopped receiving the kind of income that he was used to and Hollywood wouldn't take him on. Now since more information about Johnny's divorce has come through, people are beginning to see him as the good guy again, but he might still have a ways to go. Halfway through at number 5, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart had built her empire on cookbooks and home goods, but her kingdom came crashing down in 2004 when she was sentenced to jail time after being charged with obstruction of justice and conspiracy. Martha's image was shattered after she was caught using insider information to pull her stocks from a failing company in the stock market. She went from being perfect and neighborly to a hardened criminal in the blink of an eye. 
No, I'm just kidding, it's not that dramatic, but she did suffer quite a bit. She had to pay a fine for her crimes and was forced to step down as CEO of her company for five years. It took a while for Martha to bounce back from her tarnished image, but many people still see her as the lady who went to jail. At number 4, Britney Spears. Britney has been in the news a lot lately regarding her guardianship and assets. Basically, for the last decade or so, her father James has been in charge of almost everything Britney can or cannot do, have, or say. This comes from back in her meltdown days when Britney really wasn't doing too great. She was suffering a lot in her personal life and in the media, and her career came crashing down around her as a result. Despite making a lot of money and gaining a lot of fame in her early days of her music career, it all now falls into her dad to take care of. Now, even though Britney wants her life back, she's unable to legally take responsibility for her assets, so she's pretty much lost everything she's worked for. Under the Free Britney movement, fans are calling for conservatorship to be taken away from her dad so that Britney can be free to live her life the way she wants. But for the time being, she has nothing of her own. In at 3, Charlie Sheen. After Charlie Sheen is one of the many Hollywood stars who have hit rock bottom. He was once worth $150 million, but now he's down to just $10 million and he's pretty much broke. Sheen left his glory days behind after being caught up with illegal activities. His substance abuse and promiscuity cost him his job on the sitcom Two and a Half Men, which used to bring him in $1.8 million an episode. After being let go from the show, Charlie was never able to pick his career back up again. His expenses continued to grow though. From paying spousal support to two ex-wives, paying child support for his kids, paying for a company, and paying off the people who knew about his HIV status, Charlie racked up some pretty hefty debts to the point where he's now behind on his own personal bill payments. He really lost everything in the blink of an eye. At number 2, Amanda Bynes. Much like Lindsay Lohan, former child star Amanda Bynes lost everything she built for herself during her early days in the spotlight. Amanda had a pretty successful career in the early 2000s, but following her fall from grace, she's lost everything. Amanda's mental health was a big factor in her career's decline. She was making headlines in the media during her manic episodes that cost her her reputation and no one has hired her since. She's gotten the help that she needed and has moved on to other things, but her career in acting is pretty much done for. Amanda has since graduated from college and seems to be doing pretty well for herself, but there's no way that she can return to the big screen. Finally in at number 1, Robert Downey Jr. Before Robert Downey Jr. took up the mantle as Iron Man, his career had hit rock bottom and he had basically lost every ounce of success. Though he was very popular in his early film career, he watched it all wash away after getting in trouble with illegal substances. Hollywood refused to hire the actor and he lost his credibility. He held some smaller roles here and there, but he was still in the dark. It wasn't until a Hollywood executive decided to take a chance on Robert and give him the role of Iron Man that we saw him make a comeback. Everyone including Robert thought his career in film was over until that moment. So he truly lost it all, but he made an amazing comeback and that's why he is our number one spot. Coming in at number 10, Lana Del Rey. The beginning of the end for Lana Del Rey started with a letter that was a question for the culture. At the start of the letter she posted, Lana said, Now that Doja Cat, Ariana, Camila, Cardi B, Kalani, and Nicki Minaj and Beyonce have had number ones with songs about being sexy, wearing no clothes, f***ing, cheating, etc. Can I please go back to singing about being embodied, feeling beautiful by being in love even if the relationship is not perfect, or dancing for money, or whatever I want, without being crucified, or saying that I'm glamorizing abuse. This letter came after she was criticized for being anti feminist and glamorizing abuse in her most recent album. However, this letter led to her being cancelled by the general public on Twitter because the majority of the artists that she mentioned were of color, which is why we saw the very punny hashtag of Lana Del Racist start to trend on Twitter. She did clarify later on that this post was not meant to be racist and that she loves all of those artists, but Twitter just wasn't having any of it. Also, before we hit our next number, I need you guys to hit that like button to show some love to the channel. And with that out of the way, coming in at number 9, Jenna Marbles. Jenna has been on YouTube for a very long time, and after multiple videos of hers blew up, she really began garnering millions of subscribers, 20 million to be more precise. Although in a video titled A Message, Jenna addressed the controversy of her older content. She apologized for the video that she made impersonating Nicki Minaj in 2011 where she donned blackface and went on to say, Not my intention to do blackface. I do want to tell you how unbelievably sorry I am if I ever offended you by posting this video. In response to the outcry on the internet to have her cancelled, Jenna archived the old videos and announced that she would be stepping away from the channel. She said that she doesn't know if it's forever, but she wants to make sure that the things she puts out in the world aren't hurting anyone. Coming in at number 8, Tory Lanez. 
Canadian rapper Tory Lanez, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, really gained mass popularity throughout this pandemic by constantly doing Instagram live sessions. His show was called Quarantine Radio and featured a ton of content that really broke the community guidelines of Instagram. Regardless, his fans still crowned him the Quarantine King, and with that cloud around his name now, we saw Tory hanging around the likes of Kylie Jenner and Megan Thee Stallion. Which brings us to what Tory was being exposed and ultimately cancelled for. Megan was in a car with Tory Lanez and a member of his security team driving through an LA neighborhood. Apparently an argument took place that resulted in Megan deciding that she was going to get out of the car and walk to where she was staying. However, before she could do so, Tory had allegedly shot her in the foot. Since y'all so worry about it, yes, this Tory shot me. You shot me. Either way, Meg calling Tory out led to many of his fans turning on him and thus another celebrity was cancelled. Coming in at number 7, RuPaul. Fans of RuPaul's Drag Race were appalled after its namesake began a controversy that suggested he was more behind the times than they initially believed. The show was created to be a forefront to celebrate the LGBTQ community, but RuPaul's comments put all that progress into reverse. During an interview he did with The Guardian, writer Decca Aitken Wood was questioning RuPaul about the contradiction between his playful sensibility and the militant stance he has on the transgender movement. The writer noted that RuPaul seemed to pick his next words very carefully, but still said that he probably wouldn't have admitted a transgender woman like Peppermint if she had all already started gender affirming surgery. He went on to say, you can identify as a woman and say you're transitioning, but it changes once you start changing your body. It takes on a different thing. It changes the whole concept of what we're doing. And because of that, he was rightfully cancelled. Coming in at number 6, Shane Dawson. After what happened to George Floyd, America went into civil unrest and the people demanded answers from law enforcement. Along with that, however, comes the necessary task of curating our culture to get rid of the problematic people who only add fuel to the fire. Get rid of sounds awful, but what I mean is hold them responsible so that we can admit our own mistakes and move forwards as a society. The weirdest part about Shane Dawson doing blackface is that he had done it on more than one occasion and done so in a time where we thought that people would be more tolerant and progressive. Even weirder is that when he apologized for taking his sketches too far with blackface, a bunch of his white fans were like, oh, we forgive you. I'm sorry to say this, but that apology wasn't meant for you. It's meant for the people that he was mocking, and I don't think letting this one slide was a wise idea. There have been many red flags with Shane Dawson, but this one should have and will be the final straw. Coming in at number 5, Sherry Pie. For RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, they were burdened by a very strong accusation against one of their performers. Contestant Sherry Pie was axed from the show after he allegedly tried to groom and cast fish five men. He had pretended to be a casting director and asked each of the men to send in videos of them doing very degrading things. Although upon the victims doing further research into this supposed casting director, they discovered that it was all fake. The issue with taking Joey who plays Sherry Pie off the show though was that Sherry had won most of the competitions, so he couldn't just be easily edited out. Sherry Pie has apologized and admitted that his behavior was terribly embarrassing. Regardless, he was disqualified from the show and the producers did their very best to remove most of his images, giving him very minimal screen time. Coming in at number four, Jessica Mulroney. CTV announced that they would be removing Jessica's reality show called I Do Redo because her recent conduct conflicted with a broadcaster's commitment to diversity and equality. Influencer Sasha Exter accused Mulroney of trying to threaten her livelihood. Sasha made a post about the importance of speaking out against racism and it was oddly met with criticism from Jessica. Exeter said that she was not calling Jessica racist but said that she is very well aware of her wealth and power along with the privilege that she is afforded due to her skin color. Apparently Jessica took offense to Sasha simply asking her audience to support speaking out against racism racism. All of those comments have since been deleted, but what will stay up forever is this letter from CTV that said, Because recent conduct by one of our show hosts, Jessica Mulroney, conflicts with our commitment to diversity and equality, CTV has removed I Do Redo from all Bell Media channels and platforms effective immediately. Coming in at number 3, Chris D'Elia. D'Elia was cancelled and had been accused of grooming and attempting to solicit nude photographs from underage girls. A woman named Simone tweeted out a screenshot of her alleged interactions with Chris, which began a thread of other women sharing their interactions with him as well. The stories were all pretty horrific considering that they were all allegedly underage at the time that Chris had sent these messages to them. However, in response to having his name dragged through the mud online, Chris told TMZ, I know I have said and done things that might have offended people during my career, but I have never knowingly pursued any underage women at any point. Chris then goes on to say, All of my relationships have been both legal and consensual, and I have never met or exchanged any inappropriate photos with the people who have tweeted about me. And regardless, he was out. In at number 2, Ellen DeGeneres. When Kevin Porter tweeted this out, Right now we all need a little kindness, you know, like Ellen DeGeneres always talks about. She's also notoriously one of the meanest people alive. Respond to this with the most insane stories you've all heard about Ellen being mean, and I'll match everyone with $2 to the LA Food Bank. And the response was overwhelming. However, for this point, let's focus in on the ones about the bizarre rules for her staff, because that alone was enough to get her cancelled. Benjamin Simon said, A. She has a sensitive nose, so everyone must chew gum from a bowl outside her office before talking to her, and if she thinks you smell that day, you have to go home and shower. I mean, you have to go home and shower? 
Who does that? What a weird power move. You smell, so stop working for me, go home, shower, and then come back and stay late. Okay. Chelsea Babcock also said, when I was working on At Midnight, our stage manager told us to never work for Ellen. He told us she has signs up in her office that say, do not look the host in the eye. I'm sorry, but that's far from normal. Don't look her in the eye? That's a really bizarre rule to have. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp has been tangled up in his legal battle with Amber Heard for quite some time now. The initial article from the Sun newspaper that referred to Depp as a wife beater severely damaged the actor's reputation, and as a result, we saw him being unceremoniously pulled from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. In light of the article, author J.K. Rowling defended Depp and his inclusion with her series called Fantastic Beasts. However, following the loss of his high-profile libel case against UK newspaper The Sun, Depp was forced out of Fantastic Beasts by Warner Brothers. So despite this legal battle going on for years, it was 2020 that Johnny Depp truly began to lose all of his opportunities. At number 10, Lori Loughlin. 2020 was not a good year for actress Lori Loughlin. Back in March 2019, Lori, her husband Massimo, and 49 other people were charged in a college admission bribery scandal. After the case went to court and Lori and her husband were found guilty, they were sentenced to serve jail time. Lori serving two months and Massimo five months. Lori began her prison sentence in October 2020 and was finally released in late December. Having gone through this whole scandal, Lori lost a lot and not only has this affected her life, but her family family's lives as well. As a result of the scandal, Lori was fired from the Netflix show Fuller House, a spin-off of the original Full House sitcom, and there have been reports that she's been blacklisted from Hollywood. Whether that's really true remains unknown, but the bottom line here is that her career is tarnished and so is her credibility. But her actions made other people lose things too. Her daughter Olivia Jade, who's an influencer, has lost out on brand partnerships, and her public image has also been tarnished because of her parents' scandal. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do consider leaving a like as this really does help us out a lot. And after you like this video, head on over to the Viper Girl channel and check out our content and maybe subscribe while you're at it. At number 9, Gabby DeMartino. Gabby DeMartino is a YouTuber who recently turned to the OnlyFans platform. She was having a decent amount of success, that is until she lost her entire platform. OnlyFans suspended Gabby's account after she sold a video of herself as a toddler flashing the camera and this incited a lot of concerns legally and ethically as people accused the influencer of scamming fans and tricking them into unknowingly possessing inappropriate content of a mother. Gabby was selling the video on her OnlyFans page for $3, and after fans realized what she was posting, fans began tipping off media outlets, ultimately leading to the suspension of her OnlyFans account. This was part of Gabby's income, so as a result, she lost a lot on that front since her account is no longer active, but she also lost a lot in terms of credibility because she was allegedly scamming her followers into soliciting this inappropriate content without them knowing. She faced a lot of backlash, especially from those who were were advocates against this kind of content, and so her image is very much tarnished after last year's scandal. At number 8, Jeffree Star. In 2020, Jeffree Star faced cancellations a lot. First, it started when he released a new palette called the Cremated Palette because fans believed that this new collection was released at the wrong time. Since the palette contained death-related imagery and the collection was released around the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, he faced backlash. Then later in the summer, Jeffree was canceled again, this time for his past racist actions and remarks as the height of the Black Lives Matter movement saw celebrities and influencers being looked at under a microscope, especially into their past to uncover and take accountability for their actions. Well, as a result of this cancellation, the makeup company Morphe decided to cut ties with Jeffrey and his brand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as to distance themselves from this drama. As a result, Jeffrey lost a large income as his products would no longer be sold in Morphe stores or online, and he lost a lot of credibility in the makeup world since he was dropped by such a large company. At number 7, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne got into some legal trouble in 2020 after he was caught in possession of a firearm. Lil Wayne was arrested and charged with possessing a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon after officials conducted a search of the rapper's private jet. Since he'd been convicted and sent to prison on gun charges in the past, he was no longer eligible to own a firearm legally and so this new charge can land him in prison for up to 10 years. The rapper pleaded guilty to the charges in 2020 and will be sentenced in January 2021. This arrest is unfortunately the potential start of Lil Wayne losing everything since he could potentially potentially end up in prison for a decade, and this could definitely take a toll on his career and his life outside of prison. At number 6, Leah Michelle. Actress Leah Michelle was cancelled in 2020 after reports and accusations came out about her disrespect of others that she's worked with in the past. This all started at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement after she released a statement about the injustices that the Black community faces, and one of her former Glee stars replied, accusing her of racial microaggressions while they worked together in the past. 
This ultimately sparked a chain reaction of other people coming forward to talk about their horror stories while working with the actress. Some people came forward with stories about how she would disrespect and talk down to people on set, and others spoke out about her behavior and how she would delay production, but snap at others who held her up, and some reported encounters with the actress where she would refuse to talk to anyone face to face and would force them to speak with her assistant instead. Because of all the negative attention Leah was getting, this ultimately led the brand HelloFresh to end their partnership with the actress and release a statement denouncing her actions. Thea lost credibility, respect, and work because of this scandal. At number 5, Mary Kate Olsen. Mary Kate Olsen was in the news this year because she was going through a very messy divorce. The former child star applied multiple times for emergency divorce over the course of the stay-at-home orders in New York and was denied multiple times. Mary Kate said that she was in a hurry to end her marriage over fears of losing her personal belongings because her husband, Pierre Oliver Sarkozy, was forcing her to move out of their house. Olsen, who was already stressed about her failing marriage, was forced to find new living arrangements arrangements in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic during its first wave in the spring of last year, and she was continuously denied petitions of divorce as a result. Finally, in 2021, she reached a settlement on her proceedings and things are ending, but at the beginning of this, she was about to lose it all. At number 4, The Sussexes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, made headlines last year as they announced that they would be stepping down from their royal duties and leaving the royal family. The event the media dubbed Megxit saw the couple and their young son move out of the UK and settle down in Montecito, California. Now the media reports that the Sussexes have lost nearly everything that made them royal. Since stepping down as senior members of the royal family, they would no longer be able to travel around the world on the Queen's behalf, they would no longer receive funds from the sovereign grant, they now have to repay the money it costs to renovate their home in the UK, they no longer have an official office at Buckingham Palace, they can't receive security funded by the Canadian government, and they no longer hold protection from the paparazzi. Everything that made them royals is essentially gone, and this year they may officially lose their royal titles as well. At number 3, Stassi Schroeder. The Vanderpump Rules star Stassi Schroeder was fired from the reality program after reports of racist behavior on set. Stassi as well as three other cast members were let go from the show after they falsely called the cops on one of the only black castmates and for making racist remarks. As a result of the scandal, Stassi was kicked off the show and even had her podcast removed from streaming platforms, leaving her with nothing to fall back on. Stassi said that she felt that she's lost everything after this scandal. Along with losing her podcast, she was also dropped by her agent agency and publicist, and her wine created with fellow Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Doubt was also taken off shelf. Stassi lost everything and was left with a tarnished image and bad reputation in the media, and so now in 2021, she's making steps to rebuilding her image. At number 2, Hartley Sawyer. In June 2020, Hartley Sawyer's past was dug up on Twitter and it was ugly to say the least. Horrible, misogynistic, racist, and violent tweets were found on his Twitter account as far back as 2012, and as a result, he faced cancellations. Some of the horrible Horrible things Harley said online include saying things like, quote, Jingle bells, Batman smells, women shouldn't vote, and if I had a wife, I would beat the hell out of her tonight. Hartley's tweets also included some violent and graphic messages, but those are far too much for YouTube to handle. Anyways, because of this scandal, Hartley was fired from his role as the elongated man on the CW show The Flash, and he's pretty much lost everything. Since this story broke, Hartley has been MIA from social media and Hollywood as a whole. And finally, at number one, Kanye West. 2020 saw the rise and fall of Kanye West political career. In the summer of 2020, Kanye announced that he was running for president and even held a rally that ultimately didn't end well as he ended up crying on stage as he talked about everything from religion to slavery and abortion. Kanye was also in the news for going on long Twitter rants after getting very heated about his beliefs as well as family drama between his wife and his mother-in-law Kris Jenner. Ultimately, he ended up losing everything, and by everything, I mean the election. Kanye racked up about 60,000 votes, but clearly that wasn't enough for him to win the election. Unfortunately for Kanye, Kanye, he's on a losing streak as news broke it in early January that his marriage is about to be over and that he and his wife are looking to separate. Not only has Kanye lost everything in 2020, but he also seems as though he may lose even more this year as well. In at number 10, Josh Duggar. This year, Josh Duggar was found guilty and will be sentenced to jail for his heinous crimes. And not only is his career gone, but his entire family has turned their back on him, rightfully so. As of now, he's not been given a sentence, but he's facing up to 40 years in prison. The former reality TV star, known as a sibling on the show 19 Kids and Counting, 
was sentenced and will be charged in Arkansas. I can't exactly tell you what his charges are because they are truly that terrible, but he was charged with receiving and possessing illegal content of minors. After the guilty verdict, Duggar's lawyer said that they intend to appeal it, which I hope does not get accepted. Duggar has since been taken into custody, but his sentence has not been determined. Since the guilty verdict, Josh's sister, Jana Duggar, has also been arrested on similar charges. In at number 9, Gary Busey. Gary Busey was exposed this year for being in financial ruin. He's essentially bankrupt and owes the government thousands of dollars in unpaid taxes. Thankfully, his legal battle has determined that he will not have to pay creditors that have been pushing him for payment, which amounted to roughly $57,000. He also got to keep $26,000 worth of assets. However, Busey will still have to pay the roughly $450,000 that he owes to state and federal taxes, as they are not taken away in bankruptcy cases. Busey told TMZ about going broke, quote, When you have too much, it's a good feeling to let go. My new hobby is just breaking even. And at number 8, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's career is on the verge of being over, after he accidentally shot two people on the set of the movie Rust, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Following the tragedy, the movie has been trying to piece together what exactly happened to cause this to occur. Blame has been placed on the assistant director, along with the armorer, but it seems that the set was full of safety concerns almost as soon as it started, and it was later discovered that other cast and crew members walked off the set before the shooting because of safety issues. As of now, the movie itself and Alec Baldwin are being sued by a number of parties. It's difficult to say how at fault he was in the situation, but at the end of the day, he is the one that fired the bullet, and until things are sorted out, he should not work on another project again. Although now he is claiming that he didn't even pull the trigger, which some people are debating. And at number 7, R. Kelly. I've avoided talking about R. Kelly for as long as possible on the channel because his crimes are so terrible, they're hard to talk about. But after years of being in court battles on September 27th of 2021, R. Kelly was officially found guilty on nine charges, including charges of kidnapping, bribery, and many counts of exploitation. Kelly will remain in custody pending sentencing, which was set for May 4th of 2022. For decades, people have been coming forward against the rapper and his incredibly problematic behavior, especially towards women. Some even claim he ran a cult, where other men along with Kelly would take advantage of women in a vulnerable state. As of now, he's facing decades behind bars and is entirely blacklisted from the industry. And at number 6, Erica Jane. Erica Jane truly had it all. She was filthy rich, had a loving husband, and a phenomenal career as a real housewife. But that all came crumbling down this year when she filed for a divorce from her husband, and it was exposed that her entire life was basically a fraud. Erica's husband was all star attorney Tom Girardi, known from the Aaron Brockovich case. But then police and lawyers got involved, and it was exposed that Tom was a fraud and achieved their lavish lifestyle from stealing from his clients. The fact that Tom represented orphans and widows made things even worse, as he was stealing from people that really needed the money. Erica is now being sued left, right, and center, and she might even be facing jail time. She spent the entire season of the show fielding accusations about her involvement, but over time, the fans and fellow cast members have turned on her. As of now, she's basically alone, fighting off lawsuits and criticism on the internet, and the fans of the show have definitely turned on her after the last reunion. Halfway number 5, Travis Scott. Following the tragic Astroworld Festival, it will be shocking if Travis Scott continues to have a career. At first, it looked like Kylie Jenner might be leaving him following the incident, however, she's apparently standing by him ahead of their second child's birth. But fans are speculating this could be all for show, and Kylie just might leave him after the birth. It's clear that Travis is taking no responsibility for the festival that took the lives of 10 concert goers and injured hundreds of others, as he recently said he was not responsible whatsoever in his interview with Charlemagne and claimed that he didn't know of anything that was happening. As of now, Travis is looking at billions of dollars worth of lawsuits, so at the very least he will be going broke following the tragedy. After the festival, fans realized this problematic behavior was not a one-off, and Travis had encouraged rowdy and dangerous behavior multiple times in the past. This has caused a lot of longtime fans to turn on him. And at number 4, Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett was best known for his role on Empire at the time of his scandal, although he wasn't a household name. But his fame exploded to new heights when he alleged that two white men who were wearing mega hats attacked him, shouting racist and homophobic slurs. The whole world supported him and he became somewhat of a figure against racial hate. Until it was revealed that it was all a lie, and he actually paid two men to attack him. After he was exposed, he was served several lawsuits from the city themselves for faking a police report and wasting the city's time. On February 11th of 2020, Smollett was charged by a Cook County grand jury on six counts pertaining to making four false police reports. And he was, of course, blacklisted from the industry. He was just found guilty of his crimes and will be serving time behind bars. So his career and everything he has worked for is now gone over a stupid lie. 
And at number 3, Jen Shaw. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City just seems to be getting better and better, and the drama with cast member Jen Shaw is not going anywhere anytime soon. Weeks ago we saw Jen get arrested during the show, now we get to see Jen fighting for her freedom. Shaw was arrested by the feds on March 30th of 2021 for allegedly ripping off elderly people in a telemarketing scam. She's facing charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering with a max sentence of 30 years in prison if found guilty. Initially it seemed that Jen was tipped off that the cops were coming for her and that's why she suddenly left the planned trip. By now she's claimed that she's completely innocent and the cops have gone after her for no reason. But the cops just don't choose someone to investigate for months and then arrest in a sting operation, so clearly they have some serious dirt on her that might put her behind bars. And at number 2, Chris Harrison. Before his huge scandal, Chris Harrison was known as the legendary host of the Bachelor franchise. But he was caught up in a major scandal in 2021 after contestant Rachel Carconnell was exposed for racially insensitive actions. In the midst of this, Harrison took part in an interview with fellow Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay, where he spoke about the scandal. During that interview, Harrison was very aggressive towards Rachel Lindsay and defended Carconnell for seemingly no reason. One of Harrison's controversial statements included, quote, I've heard a lot of, I think she should, I think he should, who the hell are you? Who are you to demand that? People found his comments to be insensitive and many said he was too quick to defend a contestant accused of racist actions. Chris ended up apologizing but was later cut entirely from the franchise, which was a huge deal to the Bachelor fans. And finally at number 1, Zayn Malik. Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid were one of the hottest couples in Hollywood during their on and off again relationship. The pair even had a child together named Kai. But that was all taken away from him after reports that he got physical with his mother-in-law Yolanda Hadid. According to an insider, quote, Gigi and Zayn had a very destructive relationship when they were together romantically. According to a lawsuit, Zayn, quote, shoved Yolanda into a dresser causing mental anguish and physical pain after calling Yolanda, quote, effing Dutch slut. At the time of the altercation, Gigi was not home, but she came back immediately from Paris Fashion Week to deal with the situation. Zayn pled no contest to the charges, but later said in a statement that he adamantly denied Yolanda's claims. The pair have now split for good and are fighting for custody of their daughter, along with Zayn and Yolanda fighting in lawsuits. In at number 10, Fetty Wap. This year, Fetty Wap was busted by the cops for illegal activity and he is currently facing serious jail time. In October of 2021, Fetty Wap was arrested for allegedly running a bi coastal opioid operation out of Long Island. He was arrested right before he was set to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival, but obviously had to cancel due to his sudden arrest. The feds say that he was, quote, a killer level dealer in the operation. FBI Assistant Director Michael Driscoll said about the bust, quote, The fact that we arrested a chart-topping rap artist and a corrections officer as a part of the crimes illustrates just how vile the trade has become. Fetty Wap, along with five others, allegedly handled more than 100 kilos of substances and mainly sold them in New Jersey and across Long Island. The ring was allegedly a multi-million dollar operation between June of 2019 and June of 2020, according to law enforcement. And since they consider him to be one of the ring leaders, he is facing a minimum of 10 years in prison. And at number 9, Jamie Spears. Jamie Spears, aka Britney Spears' father, was in control of her life and money for the last 13 years while she was under conservatorship. Thankfully, in 2020, she started to fight for her freedom in court and was able to hire her own lawyers to defend her rights. Throughout the trial, we learned that Jamie had imposed intense restrictions on Britney. She was not able to get engaged or have a child without his permission. She also wasn't able to drive in her boyfriend's car without supervision. We also learned he had most likely been stealing money from her estate, along with making her work more than she had ever worked in her career. Thankfully, the judge has taken Jamie off the conservatorship and Britney is now able to live free. But as of now, he's one of the most hated people in the world, especially to Britney Spears fans. And at number 8, Tristan Thompson. It feels like there's no such thing as a year without Tristan Thompson cheating on Khloe Kardashian. And sadly, 2021 was no different. We learned about the cheating after a woman named Marilee Nichols filed a paternity lawsuit for her newborn son. Nichols at first did not share any details, but after Thompson started attacking her online and in the press, she gave the full story of their relationship. She claimed that while she was in California, she met Tristan at a party at his home in 2020. Then in March of 2021, they slept together on his birthday, along with having a relationship for months afterwards. And sadly, Chloe and Tristan were together at the time, and he's admitted to cheating with Nichols. From the statements that have been given, it seems likely that Nichols will win the suit, and Thompson will have three children with three different women. Thompson first admitted to cheating, but denied the child was his, but the paternity results are now in, and he is the father. 
as Maury would say. In at number seven, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen is one of the most controversial figures on social media, so it's not surprising that she got a massive scandal in 2021. It seems that Chrissy is more than just a troll on social media, and she can actually be quite a bully. She bullied many celebrities over the years, like Courtney Stodden and Avril Lavigne, even coming after children at some points. Her main target seemed to be Courtney Stodden, though, who spoke against Teigen and her harassment many times. All of the unearthed tweets were incredibly disgusting and made the entire internet turn on Chrissy. Chrissy decided to leave the internet following all the backlash to reflect on her words and actions. But the time she took away only turned out to be a measly 23 days. Her return to the internet was not taken well, and many of her fans have stopped supporting her as a result. She also lost tons of sponsorships and brand deals, and I don't think they will be returning anytime soon. And at number six, Chris Cuomo. CNN's Chris Cuomo has officially been fired from his network after an investigation covered the anchor helped his brother disgrace Governor Andrew Cuomo during his scandal. Andrew Cuomo's crimes include government corruption and sexual misconduct. Earlier, they announced he was going to be suspended, barring the results of this investigation. Partway through, they had uncovered enough evidence to fire him. CNN writes, quote, While in the process of that review, additional information has come to light. Despite the termination, we will investigate as appropriate. This all comes on the heels of an investigation by the New York Attorney General's office, which suggested that he was heavily involved in his brother's scandal. Following his termination, reports are coming out that Chris was also accused of sexual harassment. That's a part of the reason for his termination. So it's clear that no network will want to touch him again. Halfway number five, Dr. Seuss. Even though Dr. Seuss passed away in 1991, his reputation was tarnished after he was canceled early in 2021. Following this scandal, Dr. Seuss Enterprises has made the decision to strip six books from its catalog. In a statement, they said, quote, seizing sales of these books is only a part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalog represents and supports all communities and families. The books that are being axed are, and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, McElliot's Pool, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, and The Cat's Quizzer. The decision came in part after a 2019 study found that out of 50 books by Dr. Seuss, 43 out of 45 characters of color have quote, characteristics aligning with the definition of Orientalism, or the stereotypical offensive portrayal of Asia, as well as the African characters having anti-black characteristics. In at number four, Jamie Lynn Spears. After we learned that Britney Spears had been controlled by her father for the last 13 years without anyone knowing, fans looked to her sister Jamie Lynn Spears, wondering why Jamie Lynn never spoke up publicly in support of her sister before the Free Britney movement gained traction. Things were made worse when Britney called up Jamie Lynn directly on her Instagram, making it clear that Jamie Lynn did not support her in her battle against her father. Britney wrote in one caption, quote, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservatorship killed my dreams. Jamie Lynn responded to the hate on her own Instagram, saying that she supported her sister behind the scenes way before the Free Britney movement was created. But that has not stopped the hate train. In at number three, Army Hammer. Army Hammer was on the rise in Hollywood and looked like the next big star. But that all changed when he was accused of inappropriate sexual conduct with a number of women. One woman claimed that during their four year relationship, Hammer was mentally, emotionally, and physically harmful. Because of the scandal, Hammer dropped out of the Jennifer Lopez rom com Shotgun Wedding. He was also investigated by the government for these illegal actions. Following the scandal, he decided to check himself into rehab in 2021 to confront his harmful behavior and addictions. He recently left that facility, and a source told The Sun, quote, Army is out of the treatment facility where he spent almost nine months. He's doing really well, and it's wonderful news for his family. He's back in the Cayman Islands. Although he's out of rehab, he is still being investigated by the government, and there's a high chance he will be going to prison. In at number two, DaBaby. DaBaby was more or less blacklisted from the music business after he went on a homophobic rant during his Rolling Loud set. Most notably, he made several comments about AIDS and spread harmful misinformation about the community. Following the scandal, he was dropped from sponsorship deals and other music festivals. His collaborator Dua Lipa also came out against him and condemned his statements. He issued an apology on Twitter, writing, quote, anybody who has ever been affected by HIV AIDS, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions of offending anybody. So my apologies. But the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. You do you. Your business is your business. People didn't take that as a true apology, and because of that statement, he has remained cancelled. And finally, number one, Chris Knopf. After the release of the new Sex and the City reboot called And Just Like That, actor Chris Knopf has been accused of sexual crimes against multiple women. These women, who remained anonymous, said the events happened in 2004 and 2015. Knopf and these women had sexual relations. One was entirely not consensual, and the other happened after coercion, which is still not consensual. After the allegations became public, Peloton decided to pull their ad featuring the actor. Both women told The Hollywood Reporter that Knopf's return to the Sex and the City franchise had triggered memories of their experiences with him years ago. Neither encounter was reported to police at that time. The three leading women on Sex and the City have now issued a statement supporting the women.
women that have come out against Knopf. He's also been fired from the show The Equalizer with Queen Latifah. In at number 10, Spencer and Heidi Pratt. The Hill stars have gone bankrupt not once, but twice, and the second time was in 2021. The couple says they went broke after lockdowns killed their crystal business. At the time, they were spending insane amounts of money on wine. The business was called Pratt Daddy Crystals, which sells jewelry and wellness products. Business was great before the pandemic, but after the business flatlined. The couple showcased the downfall of their business on season two of The Hills. The couple, who were once worth an estimated $10 million, had to consult a financial advisor to help them sort out their money. To put the nail in the coffin, the pair spent all their money on expensive wine to deal with the pandemic. Spencer said, quote, one of our biggest expenses was our wine budget, which grew exponentially during lockdown for a year when there's nothing to do but, you know, try new wines. And, you know, white, red, champagne, sparkling, you know, there's a lot of different options. The pair are now struggling to stabilize their finances. In at number nine, Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes was at one point the most exciting female entrepreneur, completely reinventing the way that we find illness in the blood. She started the company Theranos in 2003 at the age of 19, then dropped out of Stanford to pursue it full time. Theranos claimed it had invented technology that could test for a range of conditions using just a few drops of blood taken from a finger prick, which is far better than the current system. Theranos raised $945 million from an impressive list of investors, including media mogul Rupert Murdoch and the Walmart's Walton family. However, it was later determined that she was a fraud and she was actually just using the traditional blood machines to get the results because her machines did not work. Last month, Elizabeth Holmes was found guilty on four charges of defrauding investors. She's guilty in one count of conspiracy to defraud investors, as well as three wire fraud counts tied up to specific investors. Holmes faces up to 20 years in prison, as well as a fine of $250,000, plus restitution for each count. In at number eight, Randall Emmett. Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent and her fiance, movie producer Randall Emmett, have officially split. It seems like 2021 has been a terrible year in general for Randall. Randall and Lala welcomed their baby girl Ocean earlier this year, so it started off great. The pair were even engaged and planning their wedding. But then photos leaked of Randall in Nashville letting two mystery women into his hotel room. Sources report that after that incident, Lala left their home and moved into a hotel. Shortly after, the pair officially split. Now Lala is exposing tons of shady stuff about him on her reality TV show. But that's not all. Randall is actually the producer behind Megan Fox and FGK's movie, Midnight in the Switchgrass. That movie did not go off without a hitch, and it was reported the couple did not attend the premiere of their own movie because they were feuding with production, including Randall. Yikes. In at number seven, Shia LaBeouf. FKA Twig's real name Talia Barnett exposed in 2021 that she endured a toxic and harmful relationship with Shia LaBeouf. She later decided to sue him for his harmful and manipulative actions, unearthing tons of stories where LaBeouf was toxic, reckless, and even put her life in danger. Apparently, he was so controlling she wasn't able to look other men in the eye or he would get angry. She eventually got the courage to leave and is now hoping she gets justice for the terrible treatment that he put her through. The two parties are currently trying to settle their differences without a trial, but if not, will be set for some time in 2023. There have been no major updates in the case as of now, but singer Sia came forward during this time and revealed that Shia coerced her into an adulterous relationship with him. So clearly he has a history of mistreatment that must be resolved before he works in the spotlight again. In at number six, Ellen DeGeneres. Last year, Ellen went through one of the biggest scandals of all time when it was exposed that she was not the nice, friendly dancing lady that we see on screen. And behind the scenes, she was incredibly mean. Ellen's fall from niceness all started when Kevin T. Porter tweeted out that Ellen was notoriously one of the meanest people alive. And the replies of the tweet shared tons of negative interactions that people had with Ellen over the years. This sparked a whole wave of exposing not only of Ellen, but her show as well. Then it was revealed that her show also had a toxic work environment and her staff were verbally berated constantly. There were even reports of inappropriate conduct by high level producers of the show, which resulted in a number of the top execs getting fired. As of now, Ellen is set to end her long reign on daytime TV after this season is finished and her reputation and career are finished as well. Halfway in number five, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle had an interesting year. He's either canceled or a free speech hero, depending on who you ask. But one thing everyone can agree on is the fact that he got in tons of hot water this year for his controversial comedy special, The Closer. The special was deemed transphobic by many viewers, and it generated so much backlash that LGBT employees of Netflix started a walkout over the harmful rhetoric. 
In response, Chappelle stated in an Instagram clip that he would meet with transgender employees. However, he won't be, quote, bending to anyone's demands, adding, quote, if you want to meet with me, I am more than willing to, but I have some conditions. First of all, you can't come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. As of now, he's still selling it wherever he chooses to perform, but he stated he's been blacklisted from all other streaming sites but Netflix. And at number four, Marilyn Manson. Actress Evan Rachel Wood posted to her Instagram on February 1st, exposing she had been mistreated by Marilyn Manson. In a long statement, she said that he started engaging with her while she was only a teen, and she was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. She then claimed that she did not want to live in fear, and she wants to expose him before he does more harm, concluding, quote, I stand with the many women who will no longer be silent. Wood met Manson when she was 18 and he was 36 back in 2007. They later got engaged in 2010 for eight months until the relationship ended. This statement on Instagram came as four other women came forward with similar allegations against Manson. Manson has denied these allegations, but he's still been blacklisted until these legal matters are sorted out. And at number three, Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell just finished her explosive trial and was found guilty on four of the five charges that were brought against her. Maxwell was of course a close confidant of disgraced billionaire Epstein, who was exposed for his heinous crimes in 2020. Maxwell was implicated by many of his accusers during his trial, and those same witnesses were used against Maxwell. Maxwell pled not guilty to all of the charges, even though tons of evidence mounted against her. The jury, made up of six men and six women, reached the verdict last month, and she now faces up to 65 years in prison and will be sentenced shortly. Her defense sought to undermine the accuser's memories and motivations during cross-examination. Maxwell's team also argued that she was the scapegoat for prosecutors because Epstein died before he could stand trial. And at number two, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato made headlines when they tried to cancel a local LA frozen yogurt shop called The Big Chill. While Demi was visiting, they noticed that there were a lot of treat options that they deemed diet foods, like sugar-free cookies. Demi then decided to publicly call out the shop on Instagram where Demi is close to 100 million followers. Demi wrote that they had a terrible experience at the shop and even called the shop diet culture vultures. The Big Chill then clapped back that the different items were to suit dietary restrictions, saying, quote, we carry items for diabetics, celiac disease, vegan, and of course have many indulgent items as well. Demi then got backlash for not considering other dietary needs and making everything about themselves because diabetics require sugar-free options. Demi apologized, but it's still a huge stain on their reputation. And finally, number one, Mike Richards. After the passing of legendary Jeopardy host Alex Trebek, the show has been doing everything possible to fill his shoes, which is an incredibly difficult task. Mike Richards was one of the people put up for the role. Richards was an executive producer on the show at the time of Trebek's passing. After making it through the round, Richards was officially announced as the show's next host. However, shortly after that, sexist comments that he made on a podcast eight years earlier resurfaced and he was forced to resign from the coveted role. He said in a statement, quote, It is humbling to confront a terribly embarrassing moment of misjudgment, thoughtlessness, and insensitivity from nearly a decade ago. Looking back now, there is no excuse, of course, for the comments I made on this podcast, and I am deeply sorry. 